Tracy. I'm a dental hygienist. I work at Family Dental Practice in Augusta. I've been a hygienist 22 years. Did you want to talk a little bit about in your job as a hygienist? Do you ever use the internet? I do. I use the internet to do continuing education classes. I do it to check out different medications and conditions patients have. Every day people come in and say, I'm on a medication for my blood pressure, but I can't remember the name. So I will type in blood pressure medication and then a list comes up and I will say, does this one sound familiar? Does this one sound familiar? Is it this one? And usually we can pin it down pretty quickly that way. Uh -huh. So it's necessary. We need to know what they're on because something we do could interact with it or if we ever had to call paramedics while they're here at the office, we would need to tell the paramedics what they're on. So. Wow. Wow. It's helpful because it's so fast. So you have it hooked up to your computer right there? Is that a big computer screen or what is that screen yes, that we're seeing Yes, this is my screen. There? This is a patient chart. This is not a real patient. This is Big Bird. This is one of our practice charts. But also down here I have a Google icon right there. So I can click on that pretty quickly and find something out. Wonderful. Um, anything else that you want to share about um, the way you use the internet, the way you search for things? Uh... I do it to check out different things patients tell me they've heard about that I may not know about yet. Or when patients were swishing the oil around in their mouth for 20 minutes. I heard sesame, I heard different things. Um, do you know where people got that idea? Where it... You know, everything spreads on the internet now. Facebook is a huge one. Twitter, things like that. And once it's out there, everyone keeps sharing it over and over and over, and it's it's contagious, basically. So. so then how did you go online and approach that? Now you're thinking, is this true or not? What did you do? Usually I hit Google, and then I look for trusted sources. It's important to make sure that you have just not any person out there saying something, but that there's studies that back things up, especially if they can be double-blind studies and that it's from a creditable source like the American Dental Association or things like that. So how do you tell if something is a, is a, if it's a source, how do you tell if it's reliable or not? In general, you know, national associations are usually pretty good. If it's one I don't recognize, I have a tendency to really question and try and look at their credentials and what else have they had a part in before I trust that. So how might that look like when you say their credentials? What would you do to find out their credentials? Well, I would go to their website and, and go to the about. Usually the about, there's usually a button that says about us. You know, the American Dental Association is the American Dental Association. They're, they're the overseeing body for everyone so that it's usually a pretty trusted source. But someone else just writing that because they're a dentist may not be the most trusted source. They don't have access to every study out there. And, and how do you think about that because you're a trusted medical professional and at the same time you want to respect people's choices. It must be a hard line sometimes. It is. It's difficult. What, what usually can happen is I can say, well, the study you're pointing out was, you know, a retrospective study or just anecdotal. It was Yes, debunking things is a big use of the internet for me. If I see something that says, fluoride's going to kill you, and see where that originated, if it's true, that usually tells you right then if it's true or not. But Do you use these same skills for looking at sites as you surf the internet? I do. I think it crosses over both ways. When I was in college, the internet was barely in use. I graduated in 1994 and I can remember having to go to the library and look things up and we had an assignment to find creditable sources. We had to write a 10 page paper and it was torture at that time. We had dial up internet and now it's just so quick and easy. It's so, great. So do you have recommendations for students who might be seeing this video of like as they think about using the internet in their own projects or their own learning? I would say just always make sure that it's it's a good source. Truthful, unbiased. That's the main thing. You you want information but you want it to be true information. Checksnopes.com. <laughs>